Cassie here and it's exercise ball time or Swiss ball time. If you don't have a ball, all I need you to do is go ahead and go out and get one. It's like $10 or $15 at like a Target or Walmart, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, whatever. And it's super versatile. So I would say having a Swiss ball is definitely one of the must-haves for your at-home gym, okay? So go out and grab one and then we can do this video together. It's very fun. I'm going to show you some of my favorite exercises. I'm going to target the abs, the legs, the arms, everything. Swiss ball is super fun. You guys ready to go? All right, let's hit the mat. Okay, so you've got your ball, right? Super excited. I want you to go ahead and place both your feet on top of the ball. How I like to do it um, is I like to basically just place one foot on top, okay? Gather my balance, kind of like a T-stand, and then plant my hands right on the ground in front of me, okay? I have my shins on the ball. So I am in a complete plank right now, Suck that belly button in. I'm going to start off with one of the hardest moves. Why? Just to get it over with, okay? Now this one's pretty advanced, so please do not be discouraged if you can't do it. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and lean back like you're going into a child's pose, okay? All right, now slide that ball onto your shins, onto the tops of your feet, and pick your booty up into the air, just like that, okay? Toes on the ball and you release. Okay, we're gonna go for eight of these. Here we go. And press yourself up. There's two. And down, pulling back. Three, strong arms, guys, strong core. And down, good job. Four, just slightly roll it up onto the tops of your feet. Nice, here we go. Push. Oh, I feel my abs like crazy. Crazy. This one took, took me a long time to learn. Had to practice every day, like five minutes a day, about five days a week. And two more. Lift up. Whoo, my abs are dying. Last one, okay? Press it back. Let's go for the win. Up. All the way up. And come into plank for me. Very good. All right, slowly take yourself off of that ball. Whoo, the abs, we're dying. Okay, we're gonna go into more abs, okay? This time you're gonna roll that ball right in front of you and you're gonna pretend like you're praying, okay? So place the hands right here. You're gonna roll out, okay? And then pick yourself up onto your feet. You're in plank again. Oh, we love plank, right? Okay, so. You need to keep the hands here, you can clasp them together, it doesn't matter. And all I need you to do is press the elbows out and bring them in. Did you feel the abs there? Oh my god, and rest. Oh my goodness, and rest. Okay, so we are challenging the core here. Eight, seven, six, five, don't dip the back. Four, three, two, one, hold it and bring it in, knees down. Excellent work. Now, you can also work your arms on this ball if we go into push-up position with the legs elevated, okay? So this means there's gonna be a lot of weight on your upper body, but you guys are strong, you've been training together for a while, so I'm sure you can handle it. Alrighty, so same thing. You can either slide behind the ball to get on. I really just like putting my foot on top, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Place my foot on top, and heading into push-up position, okay? Here we go. Now, obviously, the farther the ball is away from you, the harder this is going to be. The closer you keep it, the easier it's going to be because the ball is helping you with that weight. Okay, so I'm going to place it far because we do pop Pilates and we make sure it's as hard as possible. Okay, so nice wide start with fingers. Prevent that dip in your back. And we're going down for push-ups. Eight, let's go. Inhale down. Exhale up, eyes forward. Two, nice wide elbows. Three, four, who wants nice arms? You do. Five, six, come on. Seven, last one. Go slow, let's go slow. And four, three, two, one. Hang out and plank for a second. That's your break, hanging out and plank. And finally, Go ahead and bring it down. Very good. Okay, so 
So, you got some of your abs there, we got your arms. Now we're going to some classics, which I love, onto the mat. You're gonna hit those hips, you hit the lower abs. Okay, so this one's kind of like a rotation, it's pretty cool. It's not a lot of movement. We're gonna clamp that ball right between your feet, okay? You're gonna flex the feet. They should be 90 degrees, legs shooting up perpendicular to the floor, hands by your side. All you're gonna do is twist that ball to one side, twist it to the other side, okay? You're gonna keep those knees straight. Now, what I see a lot of times in class is that people really try to get that rotation, so they tend to bend the knee like this, so it looks like the ball's rotating, but what is that doing for your abs? Um, not us, so you can keep it straight, and you are going to twist. Now, I am totally engaging my lower abs right here, okay? I'm actually shaking, you probably can't see it, but this move is so, so, so effective, okay? Make sure those knees stay straight. Squeeze your lower abs, please. Squeeze it. Okay, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and go ahead and pass it in your hands. Now this one's pretty fun. It's like a catch ball game, okay? So once again, extend those legs all the way up. Keep them a little bit open. We're gonna pass the ball into our legs by throwing it, okay? We're gonna throw it up, we're gonna catch, and we're gonna drop. Throw it up, whoa, catch, and drop. Up, catch, drop, up, catch, drop. What does this work? Your inner thighs, guys, come on. We're catching it in our feet. This is pretty fun. Oh my goodness, I actually really like this. Good, bring it up, catch, down. Bring it up, catch, down. Good work, come on. Who feels their, oh, who feels their inner thoughts? Okay, well, that was a disaster. Let me go get the ball. I apparently cannot talk and throw balls and look at the camera at the same time. Okay, let's pretend that didn't happen. Here we go. You're gonna be eight. Drop. One, catch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's do one more because it's fun. Up, catch. Very good. Now stay right there. You're gonna pass the ball to your hand. Give me a little crunch. Press the heels together. Go ahead and bring everything down. Ball pass time. I think we've done this one before. It's definitely one of my favorites. You can keep the eyes forward, keep the hips um, square to the ceiling on top of you. You're going to squeeze your heels together. You're going to be very gentle with the ball, just slightly, gently passing it along, okay? And obviously that low back is pressed into the mat. Good job. Eight. All right, here we go. Eight's the magic number. Eight and seven. Good. Six, come on, go as low as you can. Five, woo! Four, so good. Three and two. One more, guys. Come on, give me those nice long legs. One and bring it all the way down. Woo! Very nice. Okay, well, how'd you guys feel after that one? I know you've been requesting the Swiss ball workout for a long time. I think that really was worthy of the debut of the Swiss ball workout. Um, once again, a lot of these moves are quite advanced, so take your time, practice them, and then turn this video on again when you feel like you've, you've got it, and then we can do it together, okay? Thank you so much for following along. I'll see you guys on my blog and on my Facebook fan page because I am definitely on there all the time. All right, see you later, guys. Work out hard for me. Mwah.